Have done something a little drastic we uh we got 450 miles to get home eta 3 45 a.m so let's go We made it back at 3.30 in the morning this morning. Flew down from New Hampshire to Baltimore, Maryland to pick up another Camaro. Like I needed another one. We got four Camaros now. But this one is really for this one. You guys probably know what the deal is, but you know, first let's go take a look at this thing. I have never looked so little at a vehicle that I've purchased. Uh, I knew it wasn't perfect cosmetically. Uh, that's the reason it was cheap, which is why it was attractive to me because I was interested in the drivetrain. So I basically, you know, a guy picked me up at the airport. We drove to his apartment. I made sure it was a Camaro. I made sure it had a LS3 in it and uh, drove it 500 miles home. So let's go out, take a look at it, see, uh, see what we're dealing with. So here's where we parked it at 3.30 in the morning. It is a 2010 Camaro SS, 2SS package. Don't really know what that means. I think it means it gets the halo headlights and you know maybe you fifth gen guys can help me out, but I'm more of a fourth gen guy. Looks like he stoved in the front end here. He told me about that, so that's nice. Just leave that like that. I mean, straight enough car. I think that this door and this quarter have been repainted because just tons of orange peel, maybe even some sanding marks, just not really great paint. And the clear coat's, you know, completely gone here and it's not on the other side. So if we open this door, yep, there's your tape line right there from when they taped off this quarter panel. So this quarter's been painted, seems solid enough. Wheels curbed. Rear bumper, clear coat also peeling. I don't think this quarter has been painted. There's no clear coat failure up here. Nope, not that I can tell. So, yeah, just a 2SS black six speed. Boston acoustic sound system. They're ripping the seat there. Other than that, leather interior is in good shape. Interior is in nice shape, just needs cleaning. Well, let's get into the real reason I bought this car. Cold start. So there it is. That and the uh, gear shift thingy it's connected to in the back are the reason that we bought this car. 
perfect running LS3 and TR6060 six-speed manual transmission. It's got 120,000 miles on it, but you know, it's an LS, fairly broken in. So let's take this thing for a drive and uh, talk about what the plan is and you know, where my head's at. So what's the plan for this car? I've been looking for a wrecked or salvage title, uh, 2010 to 2015 Camaro SS, because those come with the LS3 and the TR6060 six-speed for two months now on Copart insurance auctions. And they've either gone for too much money for it to make sense, or uh, they're, they're just taking too long. You know, these auction sites, you see it on the auction and it's it, you basically wait months for it to actually come up for auction. And, you know, we're most of the way through winter now and I don't even have a drivetrain for my 1969 Camaro yet. So started to look around on the forums, found a guy that was selling this car, 2010, you know, higher miles, cosmetically not perfect. And uh, the price was less than the salvage title wrecked ones we're going for at the auction. I saw one going for Last week it was completely wrecked. Basically every body panel was bad. It had low miles, but uh, again, for what I'm doing, it doesn't really matter to me. And it went for like 11,000. As much as it seems like the wrong thing to do, we're gonna take this perfectly good running and driving car and uh, pull the complete drivetrain out of it. And uh, it's gonna end up going in the 69 and then we'll either part the rest out or, or sell it as a roller. But uh, in the meantime, see if we can't do a burnout or uh, you know beat on this thing a little bit. Real bad up here. Alright, pass the burnout test. Don't stall it. <laughs> Jeez! What are you, a race car driver? The gears are short. I mean, the shifter? Yeah. Oh. So, what do you think? Should it go in the 69? Yeah. Alright. That's all we need to know. Give her the beans. All right, well, this thing definitely passes the drivetrain test. Let's get it home and uh, figure out what to do next. Fixed. All right, back home from doing some shenanigans. Car runs great, does great burnouts, does great donuts, great, you know, second gear, third gear pulls. It's gonna be perfect, but it's not doing me much good in that car. So let's get it cleaned up. I always like to start every project with a clean, fresh slate. So let's get this thing washed up, pull it in the garage, and we'll uh, come up with a plan. <laughs>
kills me. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but like 100 mile an hour winds out there. First night the 69's ever spent outside. Don't like it. Anyways, the 2010 aka donor car is cleaned up, ready for surgery. So we got a full motor. You guys know the deal. Motor and transmission are going in the 1969. As much as it seems a little crazy to pull apart a perfectly good driving car, you know, I think I'm gonna sell the roller to someone else who can make it into a race car or whatever they wanna do. The price I paid it, it just made sense. So that's gonna do it for this video. Next video, we're gonna be pulling the motor and transmission out of this thing and getting work, getting it ready to put into the 69. We're definitely doing a cam, maybe some other goodies. So gonna be plenty of work to do with the motor and transmission once it's out before it goes back into the 69. Parts are coming in every day, so build starting to gain speed. So make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. We'll see you guys next time.